got to help these people. We got to be of service, bring value. It's beneficial for us and our families. By bringing value, I'm able to get these houses for free. I'm able to skirt the institution. But guess what, Judy? You and Viviana gonna have some, you know, some houses. Y'all might be my competition. So I want to know what they need, what they want. Because Lavelle, that's gonna get me what I want. I mean, textbook. And the thing about it is, though, you know, I had to learn that over time. But I know that about myself. See, I'm all right with holding myself accountable. I'm all right with saying that, you know what? I said that to you. And I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, dang. I thought that really was um, cost $100. Man, I didn't know it was only 20. I was wrong, man. Dang. You know, whatever it is. Whatever it is, so you gotta know yourself. Put your ego, set your ego aside, man. Because if we don't, we're gonna be talked out of doing this. We will. Do you know how many people said that thought I was crazy? In my face and behind my back? I mean, take a guess. I said that, you know what? I'm about to start investing and in buying people's houses by taking over their mortgage. I don't even need any money. I'm, I'm smiling, I'm happy. I don't even need to go to the bank and fill out a credit application. How many people you think laughed at me, Lavelle? I mean, I would've put all my energy into saying, why is you laughing at me? It, it ain't funny, I'm not being, that wasn't a joke. This is what I'm about to do. But that's not what I did. Because our ego and our pride, and then also not caring and worried about what others want, it'll get us in trouble, man, and it won't get us what we want. So we have to change that philosophically. If you're able to do that, if you're able to do that, then you can get these houses because you got the blueprint there on paper too and on YouTube, right? So that was textbook go. My pride, they didn't hurt my pride. How? Why? I stayed calm, right? I stayed calm. Then I was honest with that dude. You're better than that, man. You are. You need to get off them drugs. Stop. That's it. Also though, see, I was fully prepared. We cross every T and we dot every I. That's why the paperwork's so important. Judy, that's why I stress, because I knew you had to work and I respect what you do, because my aunt had diabetes. So I had to take her to um, dialysis at five in the morning. So I didn't say not, you know, but I stress that Viviana needs to be here because you guys are running mates. So she needed to hear this because it was important because I want y'all to win. And I know that you want this. And I just said that I know what, that you want this because I said how you went to them people's house. Can I tell the funny story or not? So she's a go-getter though. She's a go-getter. She found some houses on sheriff's auction on the website. And she asked me though, so are you the reason that they keep disappearing off the website? I was like, yes. Mm, because that was one of my goals. It was. I said that I want to make people that buy houses at auction in Sioux City say where are all the good houses going. And guess what happened a few days ago this week? Somebody said it, right? So she said that, and I said, yeah, that's me. You know, after I was like, yes, and kinda, you know, that was a rub on my ego, man, but I earned it. I didn't say, hey, uh, Judy, guess what I am and how I do it and who I am. So I'm telling you, I done showed her before she knew me. Because a person will tell you anything and they'll show you everything, right? But I knew that Judy was a go-getter because Judy knew that first off, so she had been on the site. And then she said, I've been, how are you getting these? Because I've been going over to their house Man, I almost crashed the car. I was like, what? I thought I was the only person doing that in, in the city. I did. Yeah, I told her that. Like, so she's going. She don't know how. She don't know what to say. She went to this house, man, that was in foreclosure, right? You know, you got to start carrying mates. You'll be down now. So, because of what you, because you, you know, you, you would go get her. Now you're going to do what it takes. She went in the house. She didn't think anybody lived here. So she went up in that thing. She was smart enough not to go downstairs. Thank God. Right? But, so she looked around, you know, she was like, man, this place needs some repairs, man. This is gonna cost this and this. I'm gonna try to get this at our you know? If my friends are gonna invest, right? Cause you was putting up some money to fix it, you know, doing the traditional things, but depending on somebody else's money, no doubt, right? So she goes to the auction though. And um, the old white man there that started this whole institution of real estate, they're even there at the auctions, man, spending this big money, not giving us a chance. They're conversating amongst each other. Judy's the only Mexican girl in the back chilling, right? Which isn't, I mean, unusual that she's the only Mexican there. That isn't unusual. Cause she, I mean, we don't show up at these places and they know this. So they say, hey, guess what I heard? I went and talked to this guy trying to buy his house. None of them bought the damn house before we got there because it was just typical investor stuff. Hey, I'll give you this much, will that work? So none of them bought it. They say, yeah, I, was, I went over there and I asked him if he wanted to sell his house and he wouldn't sell his house. But guess what he told me? 
he was home one day and some Mexican lady was walking around his house. Matter of fact, it was some Mexican girl. She looked, it might have been a runaway. I was like, damn, Judy, what was this, 12 years ago or something? <laughs> they thought you was 13. <laughs> That's crazy. So Judy in the back, like, she trying to, she like ducking, you know what I mean? Like, she, I think they know it. Then Judy, because dude kept looking back and then he talking. Yeah. <laughs> So I said all that man to say many of things, right? One, she was the only Mexican girl there. She's probably the only girl, you know. There might have been a few. But who had the money there? Who ended up with the house? Not Judy. But who has um, enough self-awareness to know? Which is what my guy, David Geiser, who's been on the school board, who's a director of uh, economic development for Woodbury County, who has done many of things that I will not say because we grew up together. We don't, you know, put the, the shoes in the, uh, on, you know, when it called for, but, but he worked his way up to that. So he's a real person. So he said, self-awareness, we gotta know ourselves, right? Know ourselves, man, and be able to say, uh, I'm not good at this. So I'm gonna put practice at it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna use my two ears and my one mouth for what God gave to me for, to listen more than I talk. Right? But these white men was talking. Old white men that have money. So they just the only white dude in the room, man. They probably think you just like they think me. You know what I mean? You ain't got no money. We're gonna get there though, you, you know. So let me let, you let me help you. They ended up buying that house. Well guess what? They're probably wondering like Judy is. Man, where are these good houses going? Well guess who getting them? I mean, guess who getting them? That's what it is. But I'm humble enough to know that I can be wrong, that I'm not always right. I care enough about just human beings in general that I don't want them to be worse off from having an interaction with me. They need to be better off from having an interaction with me because we met. So I wanna know what they need, what they want. Because Lavelle, that's gonna get me what I want in the end. And what I want in the end is this because I tell people this all the time, and I told Judy this. If you covet money, if money is what you want and need and have to have, the go-getter family is not the right place for you. It just isn't. We don't covet money. Money does not make me. It doesn't. We don't lie to people. We don't manipulate people to get them to sell us their house because we want to make money. We are service-minded first. We've got to help these people. We've got to be of service, bring value. And by doing that, the side effect of that is beneficial for us and our families. Y'all seen my daughter come up here. Got me wrapped around her finger. But I care about other people's daughters too, man, and how they end up. And by doing that and by bringing value, I'm able to get these houses for free. I'm able to skirt the institutions, man, where these guys was talking about Judy spending 100,000. You know, Judy was standing right there. Judy. Hey, but guess what, Judy? You and Viviana gonna have some, you know, some houses. Y'all might be my competition. Oh, you got some work to do though, no. You know, you know. But this is what we gotta do, guys.